In Flinto 2, we redesigned the new document UI. In the older versions, this is the window that you saw, what you're looking at now. And it's pretty basic and it gets the job done. But we were thinking, maybe this should be a little fancier. Maybe we can improve this, make it a bit nicer somehow. And our idea was like, it's gonna be more fancy. But what we ultimately arrived at was to nearly remove it entirely from our application. And I love when we come up with a design like that where instead of making something fancier, we make it simpler or remove it and just get it out of your way. So it's a pretty simple change, but I think it's kind of fun to see the design process for something like this. So let me show you how it works in the current version of Flinto 2.0. So I'm in Flinto 2 now and I'll create a new document. So you see it just opens up immediately with a new document. I didn't have to make any decisions. I didn't have any windows blocking what I was trying to do, which I think is cool. But what happened to all those options, right? I need to decide on what the screen size is, right? So we've moved all that into the inspector and we realized when you first create a document, you don't have anything selected. So the inspector can just show properties about the document, including the screen size, which means you have access to change the screen size and it's no slower than it would have been if you had been asked to do that before creating the document. It's just as easy to do that. You can choose a different size, click update document, and then you're good to go. And now when you make a new document, it will default to the last device that you used. So when I create another new document, it's using the 7 Plus because that's what I used in the last one. So I was really happy about that. I thought it's a good example of a UI that we were able to simplify instead of making it fancier. And big shout out to our friend Jordan Borth. He's a designer in Canada who we work with as a freelancer sometimes. And uh, he deserves most of the credit for this UI.